coloring friends. I'm here today with a book called Coloring with Your Octopus, a coloring book for domesticated cephalopods by Brian Kessinger. Um, my friend Sherry, who's uh, Sherry Denowitz on Instagram, you should go check her out, was telling me about this book and I purchased it after Christmas and I'm finally able to do a flip of it. Um, it's rather long. I do want to get a ruler out just so I can give you an idea we're over 12 inches, so maybe it looks about 13 and a half. And then the height of it is about seven. So it, it's a, a definitely strange sized book, and I love it. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it so we can get this glare off the page. And here we go. So it's got like a steampunk vibe to it. She was telling me about it, and it just sounded like the most incredible book. And she had sent me a few screenshots so I could see what it looked like. And yeah, it had to be purchased. The paper is not Amazon paper. It's rather thick. Um, I've not colored in it, so I don't know what it will accept yet. But it is a nice white paper, and it's really white. Um, but we've got like a steampunk aspect to it. And she has a, a pet octopus. So this is going to be a little bit of an awkward flip because I want to show you all the pages, which means I have to kind of move it over and then there she is fine it does tell like a little story without words but obviously she sees him at the pet store and brings him home and here he is getting used to his environment in a box it very much reminded me of a cat i loved it um go back over and there they are doing science experiments and preparing for a bath yeah, hopefully this isn't going to be too uncomfortable or cause anybody to have, like, motion sickness, but I don't know another way to show it. Um, yeah, here they are playing hide-and-seek, and he is such a very good hider. And then here we have learning how to do things and begging for treats. Now he's her trusty steed going off into battle. <laughs> I love the tea party one. It's just too cute. The teddy bear with the goggles is killing me. And then he had an accident. And they're doing magic tricks. Sorry, I just don't want to miss a page. And here she is getting her hair washed by her octopus friend. And he's also... And yeah, he can wash all the parts of her at once. He's washing her feet as well. Helping her get dressed. Still helping her get dressed while sewing her a dress. Now we're having a photo shoot. Love this. He's cutting a topiary, planting a garden, shading her from the sun all at once on a bike ride on a merry-go-round hanging from a street like like a trapeze it's just a very interesting book um here we do croquet we're on a boating trip Somehow we've gone back into the past and we've seen the dinosaurs. This octopus is also a one-man band. Here he is writing and reading at the dog park. Going ice skating. Dancing. Here we've got a Halloween page, which we know is one of my favorites. And here she is flying on her broom with her cat and her octopus. Now we're cooking and making a scarecrow. So we're definitely in like the fall season. Uh, when the suitors come to call, the octopus takes care of those. And she's got an automobile and they're going on a trip.
Now they seem to be swashbucklers, and he's still got his teddy bear. And they found a treasure. An underwater adventure. A desert adventure. And we're still in the desert. She's getting henna tattoos that the octopus is giving her. <laughs> And the samurai. And now we've got the dragon. So we're going through different nationalities here. We've got a bagpipes. We've got very Marie Antoinette looking dress and masks. Hers is an octopus. I love that. And now we're in the Alps. This is probably supposed to represent America. Now they're viewing all their trip pictures. And they're exhausted. I love his little mobile above his tank. And that is the end of the book. This was put out in 2014. and I had never heard of it until Sherry told me about it. And then there are a bunch of other ones, which I am not sure if they are coloring pages or regular books now penned dragons i have a free copy of that that was put out at the beginning of the pandemic um and that is also brian kessinger which i did not know so i hope you enjoyed the flip through i'm having trouble closing it but here's a little bit of the back of the book and until next time my friends have a very colorful day bye